Okay, so on this one, you can see that you have a lot of radii that you're going to have to create. And one of the hardest things is just trying to figure out where to start. I will tend to start with these two circles here and build my way around them. So if I can build this circle, which will lead me to these circles, and then I can create this part. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start here. We're going to use all these radii to construct the other circles. And we should be able to complete this one. Okay, so let's start with a circle that has a diameter of 4. So I'll place that one here. And then I'll create another circle that has a diameter right in the center of this one of 2.25. You'll notice that I converted that to a decimal. I will also show you how you can keep that from, well, or use it as the regular fractions as well. So let's go ahead and use the copy command. And I'm going to do that with grips. So I'm going to select this circle. I'll select the center grip here. I'm going to go down and select the word copy. And then I'm going to turn ortho on. Aim this direction. 8 minus 1 divided by 2. So that's going to be our 8 and 1 half or we could have typed in 8.5. Let's go ahead and escape that. Let's go ahead and put another circle with a diameter of 1 at the center of this location. Okay, from here I'll create two other circles. So let's start with a circle that has a radius from this center of 10.5. That circle should be right on the quadrant of this one. All right, next, let's go ahead and create another circle with a radius from this center. That is 8. And then I'll create one more circle that has a radius from this center of 8 minus 3 divided by 4. All right, so from this, this gives me my endpoint to one of my circles that is located here. If we create that other circle with a radius at this intersection, our radius is 6, we should have everything we need to construct our circles. Let's create a circle with a radius at this intersection, 1.75. I'm just going to hit the enter button to send me back to the circle command. Select this intersection. I'll kind of pull away to give it a preview and it's the same size circle as my last one. So I'm just going to hit enter. Let's go ahead and offset this one that's on the inside of here. So I'm going to use offset. Give my distance which is 0.5. And I'll go ahead and offset this circle. One to the inside and one to the outside. All right, from this point, I'm able to get rid of some of the circles. So I'm going to go ahead and start off just by getting rid of these three circles. I'll go ahead and construct the radius that I have here. And that's going to be with the fillet command. I'll set my radius to 2 minus 5 divided by 8. I'll select this circle. And then when I come down here, I'll select that circle. Let's go ahead and create our line from this quadrant to this quadrant. Next, I'm going to copy this circle since it has a diameter of 1, which is the same width that is going across here. So I'm going to select it, select the center grip, select the word copy. Then I'm just going to type in the first three letters of the O snap that I want. And in this case, it's center. So C E N, enter. And then I'm just going to click on the edge of this circle. Type in C E N again, enter. And then I'll select the edge of this circle. Then escape. Last things we have to do is trim. So let's go to trim. We want to get rid of this big arc on the outside. So we'll take care of that here. 
and it looks like it took away a little bit more than what I want. Let me go back and undo that. And I'll start with the ones on the inside. And it's showing me that none of these circles are crossing. So what I'm going to do is kind of give it a little help and select the word cutting edges. Then I'll select my three big circles. And then these two little circles. Enter. And now I'll trim off the outside here. And I'll do the same with these circles. And I'm going to walk these back up to this location. I have an arc that's located here and I need to figure out how to get that arc that's under here. I'm going to use offset and for my distance I'm going to use the diameter of this circle. So I'm going to select this quadrant and this quadrant and I'll select this arc and then make sure I click it to the inside. Let's go back to trim and then I'll start trimming the rest of my shape out. To make it look just like the picture. Okay. So there's the completed shape. And I hope you enjoyed watching it.